Ray Garrison, a skilled U.S. Marine, completes a successful hostage rescue mission in Mombasa. To celebrate, he and his wife Gina take a vacation to a serene beachside town on the Amalfi Coast. However, their peaceful retreat is violently interrupted when they are kidnapped by mercenaries led by Martin Axe. Axe demands to know how the U.S. military learned of the hostage's location. Ray, unable to provide answers, watches in horror as Axe brutally murders Gina in front of him. Fueled by grief and rage, Ray vows to avenge her death. Despite his resolve, Axe kills Ray as well, leaving him for dead, unaware that this is not the end of Ray's story. Ray awakens in a cutting-edge laboratory belonging to Rising Spirit Technologies, RST, a company in Kuala Lumpur that specializes in cybernetic enhancements for wounded soldiers. Dr. Emil Harding, the CEO and lead scientist, reveals that Ray is the first successful subject of the Bloodshot program. This experimental procedure has resurrected Ray by infusing his bloodstream with nanites, microscopic machines that heal his injuries and enhance his physical abilities. However, the nanites require regular recharging and replacement, or Ray risks dying again. As Ray begins to understand his new abilities, he realizes he's been given a second chance at life, albeit under the control of those who have brought him back. Ray is introduced to other enhanced soldiers under RST's care, including KT, a former U.S. Navy diver, Marcus Tibbs, a former Army Ranger, and Jimmy Dalton, an ex-Navy SEAL. These individuals, like Ray, have undergone life-saving procedures that also tie them to RST. Although they appear to be a supportive team, there's an underlying tension, especially from Dalton, who views Ray as competition. As Ray settles into his new life, he begins experiencing vivid flashbacks of Gina's murder. The memories are intense and unshakable, pushing Ray to leave the safety of RST in search of vengeance against Martin Axe, the man responsible for his wife's death. Fueled by the Nanite's connection to global databases, Ray tracks down Axe to Budapest, where he confronts and kills him along with his bodyguards. The satisfaction of avenging Gina's death is short-lived as Ray is swiftly subdued and returned to RST. Back at the lab, Dr. Harding reveals that this scenario has played out multiple times. Each time Ray is rebooted, his memories are altered to target a new person, falsely presented as Gina's killer. This revelation shakes Ray, who starts to question the reality of his memories. Dr. Harding, determined to keep control over Ray, orders another memory wipe, replacing the image of Axe with another target. Nick Barris. KT, who has been observing Ray's situation closely, begins to grow uncomfortable with Harding's manipulation. She confronts him, expressing her concern about how Ray's memories are being tampered with to turn him into a mindless weapon. Harding dismisses her concerns, reminding KT that RST can deactivate her enhancements at any time if she disobeys. Despite the threat, KT is increasingly conflicted, knowing that Ray is being used as a pawn in a larger game. She starts secretly looking for ways to help Ray, hoping to free him from Harding's control without putting her own life in jeopardy. Her inner conflict intensifies as she sees Ray being prepared for his next mission. Ray is reawakened, with no memory of his previous missions, but the implanted memories of Nick Barris, the supposed killer of Gina, are vivid. Driven once again by a need for revenge, Ray tracks Barris to East Sussex, determined to kill him. However, during their confrontation, Barris pleads with Ray, insisting that RST is lying to him. Before Ray can process this information, Barris's programmer, Wilfred Wiggins, triggers an EMP bomb that disables Ray and severs his connection to RST. Ray awakens in Wiggins' office, disoriented and flooded with conflicting memories. For the first time, Ray begins to understand that his entire existence since his resurrection has been a carefully crafted lie. Wilfred Wiggins, who was forced to work for Barris, explains to Ray how RST has been manipulating his memories to turn him into a tool for their own purposes. Wiggins reveals that Ray has been sent to kill former RST associates, all under the guise of avenging his wife's murder. As Ray grapples with this new reality, he experiences a mix of memories, some true, others fabricated, making it difficult for him to distinguish fact from fiction. The overwhelming realization that Gina may not even be dead leaves Ray in a state of confusion and anger. Wiggins offers to help Ray uncover the truth and take down RST, setting the stage for a new mission. With Wiggins's assistance, Ray discovers that Gina is alive and well, living in London with a new family. 
the revelation is both a relief and a source of deep sorrow. Ray realizes that his relationship with Gina ended years ago, long before his supposed death. This knowledge shatters the foundation of his quest for revenge, leaving him questioning his purpose. Meanwhile, Dr. Harding, aware that Ray has gone rogue, sends KT to eliminate Wiggins and bring Ray back. However, KT, now fully opposed to Harding's manipulations, decides to switch sides. She approaches Wiggins, seeking his help to free herself from RST's control and to bring down the corrupt organization. KT returns to RST, pretending that she failed to capture Wiggins. Harding, growing increasingly desperate, prepares to reprogram Ray once more. But before the process can be completed, KT and Wiggins launch their plan to sabotage RST from within. Wiggins hacks into RST's systems, disrupting the memory reprogramming process and corrupting the company's mainframe. The facility is thrown into chaos as alarms blare and systems fail. Ray, still trapped in the reprogramming chamber, begins to regain fragments of his true memories as the system glitches. These memories, though fragmented, are enough to spark a renewed sense of purpose in Ray, who now understands that he must fight back to reclaim his identity. The reprogramming process is abruptly interrupted, and Ray awakens, disoriented but aware that something has gone terribly wrong. Sensing their control over Ray slipping away, Dalton and Tibbs move to subdue him before he can fully regain his strength. A brutal and intense battle ensues within the collapsing RST facility. Dalton, with his enhanced speed and strength, proves to be a formidable opponent, while Tibbs uses his augmented vision and tactical skills to try and outmaneuver Ray. But Ray, driven by a renewed sense of purpose and clarity, fights back with everything he has. Despite the damage to his nanites, Ray's sheer determination gives him the edge he needs to turn the tide of the battle. As the fight rages on, the laboratory crumbles around them, adding to the chaos. Ray uses his knowledge of the facility and his understanding of Dalton and Tibbs' enhancements to exploit their weaknesses. In a final, desperate struggle, Ray manages to defeat Tibbs, incapacitating him before turning his attention to Dalton. The battle is grueling, but Ray's determination to survive and break free from RST's control drives him forward. With a final, devastating blow, Ray defeats Dalton, leaving him buried beneath the collapsing rubble. The victory, hard won and costly, marks the end of Ray's battles with his fellow enhanced soldiers, but the ultimate confrontation with Harding still lies ahead. With Dalton and Tibbs out of the way, Ray turns his focus to Dr. Harding, the mastermind behind RST and the source of his torment. Harding, realizing his plans are falling apart, confronts Ray in a final showdown. Armed with a grenade launcher, Harding is confident that he still holds the upper hand. The nanites in Ray's body are nearly depleted, and Harding believes that without them, Ray will be forced to surrender. However, Ray, now fully aware of the truth and willing to sacrifice everything to stop Harding, refuses to back down. In a defiant act, Ray activates a grenade that the nanites have deconstructed, ready to end the conflict once and for all. The grenade detonates, engulfing Ray and Harding in a massive explosion that brings the RST facility crashing down. Harding, caught off guard by Ray's willingness to die for his cause, is obliterated in the blast. The destruction of the laboratory symbolizes the end of RST's reign of terror, but for Ray, it comes at a heavy price. The explosion should have been the end for him too, as his nanites were nearly depleted. But as the dust settles and the rubble cools, Ray awakens once more, this time in the safety of Wiggins's office. True to his word, Wiggins has managed to revive Ray, updating his nanites to be self-sufficient and no longer reliant on external sources. With Harding dead and RST destroyed, Ray finally has the freedom to live his life on his terms. The memories that once tormented him have been fully restored, and the manipulations of the past are no longer a burden. Wiggins explains that the new nanites in Ray's body no longer require recharging, freeing him from the constant dependence that once bound him to RST. KT, who played a crucial role in bringing down the corrupt corporation, stands by Ray's side as they contemplate their next steps. The world, which once seemed filled with nothing but lies and betrayal, now offers a glimmer of hope for a new beginning. Ray, KT, and Wiggins decide to leave behind the chaos and destruction of their past lives and embark on a journey to find a new purpose.
Ray, who has spent so long being controlled and manipulated, is determined to make the most of his second chance at life. KT, now free from the constraints of RST, is eager to start anew and live on her terms. Together, they form an unlikely alliance, bonded by their shared experiences and the desire to leave the past behind. As they drive away from the ruins of the RST facility, the future is uncertain, but for the first time in a long while, it's filled with possibility. As the trio ventures into the unknown, Ray reflects on everything he has lost and gained. The journey that began with tragedy and manipulation has led to freedom and self-discovery. Though the road ahead is uncertain, Ray is no longer the pawn he once was. He has reclaimed his identity, his memories, and his life. With KT and Wiggins by his side, Ray is ready to face whatever challenges come next. The past, with all its pain and deception, is finally behind him, and the future is a blank slate waiting to be written. With renewed hope and determination, Ray sets out to carve his own path in a world where he is no longer controlled by others. Thank you for joining us on this thrilling journey through Ray Garrison's story. We hope you enjoyed the narrative, and if you did, please hit the like button to show your support. It really helps us out. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family who love action-packed tales. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment below and let us know what you enjoyed or what stories you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.